Hey guys, I doing it's Cryptic here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to give you two resumes that you could use right now. If you're brand new to IT, I'm going to show you two different resumes. They look similar. And this is a resume that was created for me because of my YouTube channel. Um, I gone over this before in another video, but I want to make a separate video for this. I want to go over certain things on it and highlight certain things on it. And it should help you all if you're brand new to IT. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do, rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Okay. So let me share my screen with you and show you the resumes. Okay. I'm going to show you number one and number two. They're similar, by the way. So, and I'm also going to sh show you, or I'm going to tell you how to get it for free or how to download it for free. All right. So this is resume number one. So this is, this is, uh, this was created by Tegan and I'll, I'll leave her, I'll leave her LinkedIn profile information below in the description of this video. She made, a, she made two resumes for me. So this is one that that uh, a lot of people have used on my Discord. This, you could download this for free on my Discord, but I'm going to leave it as a Google Drive download file as well on my YouTube channel. So you could just download it for free directly from this video, if that makes sense. And I'll probably add this to my website so then people could just download it on the website for free as well. So they don't have to go all over the place. All right. So this is really self-explanatory. Is your first name, your nickname, your last name. And then on the bottom here is your phone number. And I like this, I like this resume channel because it's nice and clean. It's not like a thousand things on it because I have different types of resumes. And out of all of them, this is like one of my favorite ones because it's super clean, organized. It's not, nothing's all over the place, you know. So I like it. Email address and your LinkedIn profile will go over here. You can make it, you can make it into a link. That's pretty silly. See, see if you see her, if you see her name is actually there. She actually made it into a, like a URL link. You could do that. So you could literally copy this or edit this and then you know just. Edit hyperlink, right? It has her name on it. She has her name on it. You could just put your name in there. So I would literally go here, a uh, little LinkedIn.com. I got to sign in because I <laughs> I clear my cookies and cash today. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put my password in here, right? Sign in. Skip for now. It's asking me for a passcode, which is fine. Let me log in. I have 10 notifications right now. <laughs> yeah. So Give me a second. It's on my other screen. You can't see it. So um, I will literally go here and paste my um, profile right here. Hit OK. So now if I have it over, my name is there. Uh, and obviously, guys, add, please add me on LinkedIn. I'm always talking about jobs or posting about jobs. You're just talking about IT in general. OK. So this is recent. IT. So this resume is for someone that's a graduate of, of school. So like, like this would be like someone who, who does WGU. Who, who is going to college right now, computer science degree, or it's just general IT, if that makes sense. So this is for someone that's a graduate. I have two resumes. The second one is not someone that's a graduate. Obviously, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go to a, a computer science degree. I didn't do any of that stuff. I didn't actually go into college and study that. I didn't, I, I'm a college dropout, but for someone that is doing WGU, this is perfect for you. Uh, so this is systems. Strong candidate background with IT combined with rigorous experience as a hands-on IT support trainee. Cons consistently recognized for technical troubleshooting skills used to resolve technical issues rapidly rapidly and cost-effectively. Uh, then technologies, capacities, and then systems, languages, databases. So you could edit this as you see fit. If I had to, if I had to edit this, I would, I would probably remove languages if you don't do coding. I'll remove databases if you don't do databases. And the Microsoft programs i put microsoft office i'll probably delete a uh, visual i'll probably delete project uh for systems here i'll put windows 10 windows windows 10 windows 11 mac os x uh mobile um that's what i would put there and then if you go all the way in the bottom right here it has their education and training the university of the school uh tech skills is a company that i worked with in australia so um this is this is why that's here, that's there they have A plus uh, certifications, Office 365, and then your personal experience. So for a personal experience, you would put uh, an IT related job or something that's not IT related, depending on what you have here, because you have to put something here, right? Or you could put like your home labs. So this is one of the resume templates. I'm going to give you a second one because I have two different ones. So this is one. I'm going to minimize that. And I'm going to open up the second one. And I, I like this one as well. You see, there's a lot more cleaner. It's so if you compare and contrast, so this is let's just make this smaller. Uh, let's make this big over here. Let's zoom out a little bit, all right? And I'm gonna move this over here. Then I'm gonna grab the other one, 
And I'm going to put it on the side over here. And I'm going to drag it over here. You guys probably can't see it because my, my head is in the way on Zoom capture. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So yeah, it's, it's pretty much the same. It's a little different, but it's similar. Um, I'm going to put these below in the description of the video, but like this one's the same thing. So I'm going to zoom back in because you probably can't see it. All right. So it says first name, last name. Same thing again, her, her LinkedIn profile is right there. So you could just right click on it. And then you could just edit hyperlink and then put your put your LinkedIn profile in there. So me, I'm going to put Kevin in there and then it should be good to go. Your email address. This one's more targeted to support if you see. It says help desk technician, technical support, remote desktop support, troubleshooting. Uh, Self-motivated technical with strong background, customer service, uh, technical troubleshooting, technical knowledge, created, created a home lab to learn technical complicities and successfully acquire certifications. And then here, it's more like more like what I do, right? It says A plus, uh, Microsoft Azure, Office 365. I would put AWS here if it was me because now AWS is in the market. So I would add AWS or GCP. Um, systems, uh, CICS, ISPF, mainframe, Unix, Windows, Netware, Mac OS X. Languages, obviously, if you're doing coding, this will be a good resume for you. Uh, Oracle Access, and you'll put your projects down here somewhere, right? Um, technical skills, PC maintenance, upgrading computer hardware, computer maintenance, operating systems, networks and printers, building computers design, building smart smart mirrors will code. And then here, like here is a, an example of someone that worked in restaurants. So you're, you're maybe a you maybe you're a, maybe you're a chef or something, right? Come for me because I have I come from a restaurant background, right? So maybe you want to add your restaurant in there, and then you have other things down here as well, and then your education on the bottom, which is university of blah blah blah. So. Those are two resumes that I have right now. And they're, I'm going to leave below in the description, but I also have this on Discord. And I have a video on this. I have a full video on resume writing and how to build your resume with Tegan. And I'm going to leave that below in the description of the video as well. So you can go over that because we go over resumes. We go over what you should have on the resume, what you shouldn't have, and when should you be changing your resume. So I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen that video, but it's a full video on that. And I'm going to share like where, where are you getting this resumes from? So I had different resume templates. So you, if you're not in my Discord, you're probably sleeping somewhere. <laughs> uh, not to say anything bad, it's just you guys are probably sleeping, but I have a resume template channel. It's called Resume Template, and I'm on 45 different Discords. And this one has been really successful. Like this one, I think this has over like 9,000 downloads. This is the one that I use that, that, that uh, I was created for me by Resume Writer. And then this is the second version of it. And then this is like a clean version of it. It has like less stuff in it. And if you scroll all the way down, I have a resume template right here. I have another resume template right here. I have another resume template right here. I have a resume template created by Steven that I'm going to go visit him in the next two weeks. I have the video. This is the video I told you about. This has 9,000 downloads. Actually, someone used my someone used my, my resume template. So if you go into, this should show you how, how, how crazy my resume is with KevTech, Reddit. And I went over this before. You guys probably... You guys probably know about this post. Um, this is not, I'm not logged into Reddit right now, but this is, this is it. Like this guy went from $10 an hour in help desk to making 90 K and knock after seven months of help desk. And he used my resume template. So if you go all the way down, go all the way down, all the way down, it should be around here. Okay. I found YouTube kept tech IT support and I started getting phone calls. So he used my resume template. He just added networking stuff to this template. And then he got, he, he made, he literally went from $10, uh, $9 an hour to 90K. So, and then these are the two resume templates and that's it. That's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to share today. I mean, I'm, I, I went, I'm going to make more IT videos. Obviously it's, it's not that I'm, I'm slowing down on that. Is that I'm doing coaching right now. I'm doing mentoring. I actually uh, opened up the floor for mentoring and coaching. I have a website for that. I don't know if you guys know that. So if you get stuck in IT, if you're struggling with IT and you don't know how to get started or you're really, really stuck right now, I have a website for uh, coaching and mentoring. Book a session with me if you need help. And then that's it. That's pretty much it. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a good Sunday and stay healthy, stay safe, and have a wonderful week. All right. Take care. Peace. Bye.